we're trying out our new overlay, trying our first video using the Elgato HD60 to record. And you know, unfortunately, my webcam can't get it to quite work yet. It's not popping up the way that I want it. So we're going to go with what we have for right now while I figure that out. I haven't posted in a little while, trying to get all my new equipment set up and figured out. And I've been getting a little bit of lag on here. My computer's not the greatest. My phone's getting a little bit older, so that probably has something to do with it. But we are sitting on Thursday. Yeah, today's Thursday of the last week of the season. We're at 46.69. Goal is to beat 47.52 this season. Um, so, you know, I'm on a little bit of a losing streak here. Let's see if we can buck that trend and actually get a couple wins here to start the day and then play some live games and see what what we wind up getting so let's hope for the best and going against level 12s you know I'll always start out a little bit behind well, I'm just going to ignore those skeletons let the tower take care of those I'm going to give up hits on that right side and just let the archer do damage over there let my tower take it out so I can counter push the left lane Here's that Electro Wizard that frees him. Oh, I didn't think my guy, my balloon would pull all the way over there. He did. His knight is on the left part of that bridge. So I can drop my goblins a little bit on my side of the map. Uh, on the opposite side of the map, I mean. And it'll pull the knight over. Drop my princess back where she's protected. We'll give up a couple hits. Um, but that's okay. Protects my princess. Gets her up the lane a little bit. The first minute, we, we won the first minute. Oh, and then that comes out. So we're actually still just a little bit ahead. So I'm going to save my knight this time for his knight. Again, it's going to come up on the left side of the bridge, so I can drop my knight directly beside his knight, one spot on my side. So what's going to happen now is his knight should pull over, and we're going to um, I was about to launch a counter push there. No such luck, but we can go ahead and launch now. So we're going to give up some damage on that right side, just hoping that we'll get a good push on the left because he dropped his furnace in the wrong spot. This should give us a good push here, possibly a tower. Yep, he's conceded the tower. So the knight was in the middle that time, so I had to drop my goblins one over. And sorry for that noise in the background. I'm actually working out of um, my little office I have over here at local ice cream shop. So I'm working on the back of an ice cream shop right now, so what you hear are the ice cream machines running. Um, hopefully that's not too distracting happening every now and then. I'm hoping he drops his furnace there in the middle. We can go ahead and get rid of it. Yep, there we go. So I want to get rid of that. I'm going to use my barbs for the electro wizard and for the knight. Drop my wizard, I mean not my wizard, drop my goblins for good measure. Princess up front. We want to keep a lot of pressure up right now and keep him from being able to actually do too much of anything. Make sure that he's only getting damage with that log and he's not going to be able to do anything to win this game. I cannot ignore this knight, unfortunately. I don't like having to play cards on that side um, right now. But we're going to be okay doing this. We're going to get the win. And we found there's a graveyard. Hey, surprise! A little too late. I don't know why he thought that he, his graveyard could do 350 damage in two seconds. Um, in first end game, he waited kind of long to use that. Oh well. All right, so that's a good um, start. Like I said, we actually it looks like I was doing pretty well at the end of last night. It's the losing streak leading up to that that was the problem. That's what. We, so who was he? Twenty thousand. Okay, he's a pretty good player. Let's see if we can get over forty-seven hundred here. Another level twelve. Now these games are always interesting. I'll say that. You know, you never know what kind of deck you're going to wind up getting into. And in these, I run into when I'm doing really bad. I don't like seeing a max uh, freeze though, or ice spirit. It's not a good thing because that usually means more max cards and very high level cards are coming. So I tried to use my knight to bump the ice golem out of the way. I didn't successfully do that. 
but now I know he's going to try to use a quick cycle hog deck. That's the second time I've seen that ice spirit. So he's already cycled through. Uh, we have to get to the one minute mark. That's my goal right now, is get to that one minute mark, and then I'll be able to play a lot better against it once I'm getting some elixir back, because I have a high, uh, high cost deck. So I really need to get later in the game. Don't want to waste any elixir here, so I go ahead and drop there. I'm going to launch a counterattack on the left side and see if maybe we can throw him off. Because he dropped his ice gold, so I want him to have to play something other than his hog. This is not ideal. Get my barbs down though, and we'll be okay. Not great shape, okay. Nope. I was hoping that that musketeer would not target my barbs. Man. All right, that's not good. So we are not in good shape like I initially thought we were going to be. Um, but no, we could be in a lot worse shape given the deck I'm playing against. I'm not happy with where we are. So he has the Ice Spirit and the Musketeer are the only things he's shown me so far that he's willing to play to combat the Balloon. So I'm going to drop Balloon there, Knight up front, and try to draw him. Nice. I, that's what I wanted. And now he's going to drop Musketeer. I'm going to freeze the Musketeer, and that should be a tower. He knows it, so he's launching his Hog Oppo. Oh, give me that tower. One hit. Okay, good, good, good. Man, I thought that was a tower. I want to get a couple chip shots on this musketeer. That's not good. I do not want that to happen. Alright, looks like we are stuck in a position that we are going to have to get three crowns to win this game. Uh, because most likely what's going to happen now is he's going to take down this tower. And I'm going to have to get my balloon onto his. And I can let my balloon die. But I'm... Wow. Unbelievable. That is awful. I mean, quick cycle hog decks are the bane of my existence anyway. I play... I mean, I have a very hard time against them. That is... Uh, he didn't use that fireball the entire game. He sat on it that whole time. I mean, well played by him, but man, I have a hard time believing he sat on it that long. Oh, he hit it. Now, that's the problem I run into, though, with being out-leveled. You wind up, you know, what do you have? All 10s for rares except for 1-9. And, you know, max 13 commons for a couple of them. Man. Not real happy with that game. Not happy at all with that game. Um, he set on that fireball, and I don't know why he waited so long for it. Oh well. On we move. I mean, hog decks are those quick cycle and tough for me with a high cost deck. So here we go. Glad we got a crown out of it. So Pekka deck. Again, not my favorite things to play against. At least he doesn't... The thing I've going for me right now is that he does not have out an elixir pump. So I go ahead and get my balloon in front. And the reason I do that is so that any minions that he had dropped would have been tanked by... I would have been taken out by the uh, wizard there. So we want to pull everything to the middle. Pull it all over. I'm going to keep pulling things over, just delay as long as humanly possible, split up these units, kill that P.E.K.K.A. Kill it! Okay, yeah. My goodness. All right, well, we didn't get any damage, but we survived the first push. Man, that thing did not want to die. So, surely I used more elixir than him there. I can't imagine I didn't. So, I think he's wasting elixir right now. Let's go ahead and use my arrows. I don't want to, but I don't, also don't want to give up too many free hits. He's looking to drop his P.E.K.K.A. right now. Yep. So, I got a good little push. He's going to have to drop his Mega Minion. Get down, Freeze. There we go. Alright, so... Now I'll be able to drop my Spear Goblins over here. And he's running the balloon as well, and somehow it's enough Alexa to do that. That's 
whenever I feel like I'm losing this game, it goes in the streets. I feel like the game really goes out of its way to give you really bad matchups. And it seems like, and I, maybe I'm wrong here, but it really seems to me like there's a lot of times that the game, that Elixir just doesn't add up. That I, I have a hard time believing that he had enough Elixir to do that. Maybe that's just me. Let's go ahead and freeze these and hope for the best. Because <laughs> right now we are not in good shape. So hopefully we'll... Oh good, he took out the princess. Now I just need my princess to start paying attention. Here. This is not a good setup for me to get that princess down. Alright, we're gonna have to try to freeze this thing again. I don't want its death damage up on my tower, is the problem. I'm pretty much playing for a tie at this point. I mean, they, this guy's just. Well, let's push and see what can happen. Who knows? Maybe we can get, uh, get him to waste enough elixir that he can't get a good push in and we get lucky. But most likely this is gonna be a tie. It's kind of what I'm playing for right now. And that's okay. I mean, it's. Is what it is. Let's keep pulling him over so I can leave this open to defend against the balloon on the right side. Try to catch that mega minion. And those arrows got him. Because this is what I want right here. Eh, that's not what I want right there. Freeze those. <laughs> Just delay five, five more seconds. Okay, so we pulled out the tie. Man. It's kind of strange that I'm happy with the tie, but I'm happy with the tie in there. All right, let's run one more. So we are one, one, and one right now. Let's figure out if we're gonna have a winning game, a uh, winning se session here. I can't talk right now, or losing. Could pick up a lot of trophies on this one, okay? Immediately launching those max goblins. Don't like seeing max troops right away, because usually that indicates we are in for someone that has a lot of high level troops that I don't have. Now that's the downfall I have a lot of times. I am very under leveled against most of the people I play. And yeah, it's great to try to say it has anything to do with skill or something like that. Well, what I would like more is for even games that I'm not just getting absolutely smoked in because of the levels I'm playing. I'm gonna leave that Ice Wizard alone, just let him get picked off by my tower. I'll give up a couple hits, I don't really care. My knight's gonna get killed by these stupid max goblins. Because apparently, apparently I can't play anyone without max troops. But it does make it that much sweeter when you win these games, knowing that they have max troops and you know my high my only rare is a nine. He's not even double digits and almost never play other nines there. But it does make you feel at least good playing against people that are so much higher level and holding your own. Because, I mean, at least you only have level 9 hard, but level 3 legendary. I mean, come on, guys. Level 3 legendary, you're playing me. You know, I don't think I'd necessarily be proud of that. So again, I'm going to leave this Ice Wizard alone. Problem is, he's about to launch that hog again, and I may have to freeze it, because I just don't have... Nope. Oh, the other one. I'm going to give up that hit. Yeah, not wanting to give up that hit there. Oh, he's committed that way. I'm hoping he drops his hog. Nope. I was hoping he'd drop that hog right when I was doing that. I did not need to drop my knight though, that's a bad play by me. It was completely unnecessary. So get my death damage at least on that tower. It's gonna be looking for a hog, I'm guessing, to go along with these goblins. Here comes this hog. Ooh, fireball to go with it. I haven't used my barbs with that combo for 
a little while there, actually, so I'm surprised that he did that. Alright, so I'm gonna wait this time for the Inferno Tower. Ah, I thought I was gonna catch the... Um, Ice Wizard with that, too. I don't know, we're not in good shape here. He's gonna get this one in. Try dropping my barbs up higher and somehow still hit him. So, yeah, I'm... The game gives you, if you've ever paid attention, when you start losing to decks, um, the game tends to give you the same people, well, not the same people, the same types of deck over and over again. Um, you know, you look back through two out of three with the Quick Cycle Hog. When you look before that, when I'm winning, it was uh, no hog, no hog, no hog, no hog. And then look, right here when I'm on my losing streak. So you don't see a hog for a few games. But before that, it hog deck, hog deck, hog deck, quick cycle balloon deck. So you can see it goes in streaks where you play the same type of end game card over and over and over again. And maybe I'm being paranoid about it, but I really feel like there's something they have put in their coding that does that. And I don't know what it is, but watch. We'll run one more. And I would be willing to bet that it's going to be a hog deck. Hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully this theory is incorrect. But I'm guessing we're going to play another hog deck. Because I'm on a losing streak right now. You know, going what, my 1, 2, and 1 in the last 4. And usually when that happens, you see very similar decks. Look, there he is. There's that hog. Right as predicted. Um, I'm telling you, Supercell has it in their coding somehow, some way that they do this to you where they make you play very similar decks and what it does though is it drives you crazy because you're playing the same decks and you can't beat them they're bad decks for you to play against and so what it does is it forces you to make a decision whether you're going to try to grind through what you're playing and try to get through it like i have being a free to play or if you're going to spend money on this game i know i have a friend right now who just started a little bit ago and he's having to make that decision right now whether he's going to be free to play or pay because he has hit a uh, spot right now where he's in Arena 7, I believe it is. But he just keeps playing the same decks over and over again and keeps losing over and over. And he's considering buying cards to try to get out of it. You know, I always like playing jerks like this too. I mean, just saying they're taunting. So right. after you lose, you won't be taunting. Um, but they do it. I don't know how they do it in the programming, but it is set up in a way that you get frustrated at the game. It literally frustrates you to the point that you... Uh, okay, let's see what I'm going to do here. I guess I'm going to freeze the pod. Um, that you do uh, wind up spending money on the game. And it's actually an ingenious marketing method, quite honestly. Um, to do it that way, to frustrate you into spending money. But there's no reason, when there's 70 cards in this game, and I can predict what I'm gonna play in this game based on my recent games, there's no reason for that. There's absolutely no reason for that. All right, so we're gonna do something different this time. <clears throat> He's seen the same thing over and over. I'm gonna launch those arrows. Oh, I caught that. So let's go ahead, got our death damage again. I guess we're just gonna have to try to go with death damage. Um, to whittle this down. Pull that little, ooh, how on earth are you doing this, Pekka? So I just gotta get three hits on this. Man, it's not gonna give him a fourth. There's no way he gets four hits with that. Come on, game. But it's like, stuff like that happens where I just feel like no matter what I do, I it gets so mess up. Freeze. The freeze was down before that Ice Spirit jump. Unbelievable game. But yeah, it does this to you in the game. I'm sure you've noticed it as well. Things just do not make sense. Like there, that Ice Spirit got frozen before it had hit my balloon. But it was still allowed to jump up and freeze my balloon. Yeah, so... I don't know. I've, they have messed with the coding in a way to force you to either be highly frustrated 
or to pay to play the game. And that's how they have it set up. Great for them. They're making something like a million or two a day off this game. But it's kind of messed up if you ask me. So, anyway, sorry for my ranting. Hope that you enjoyed this game. And, you know, hope uh, everything.